Press Club has been extremely helpful because they have opened uh, their facilities to this issue. I'm a member now. That doesn't really matter. And a number of major press conferences have been held here, and I really do appreciate this. This press club does truly represent, I think, the fundamental essence of journalism. What have Herbert Hoover, Art Linkletter, Jack London, and Richard Nixon all had in common? Well, they've all been members of the exclusive all-male Bohemian Club. I'll be glad to talk to you if you'll shut up and let me talk. Now. Now, fraud, let me tell you something. I'll tell you a couple of stories about fraud. The Bohemian Club, the, as you say, the Bohemian Club, that's where all those rich Republicans go up and stand naked against redwood trees, right? <laughs> I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air.
Our story begins in Northern California over a hundred years ago when locals began to spread rumors of bizarre occult rituals being conducted in the ancient redwood groves of Sonoma County. As the decades passed, it became clear. These incredible stories had a basis in truth, and their source was a 2,700-acre private club known as the Bohemian Grove. Then in a time period between the mid-1970s and the early 1990s, scores of reporters attempted to infiltrate the Grove. All attempts were unsuccessful. Grove security identified them, threw them out for trespassing, or in some cases had the local police arrest them. To many it seemed the Grove's secrets would never become public. All of that changed on July 15th, 2000 when we ripped aside the veil of secrecy and were successfully able to penetrate the Bohemian Grove on their high holy day and videotape the cremation of care ritual. Our infiltration is chronicled in my documentary film Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove. As the news spread across the planet that the Bohemian Grove had been blown wide open and that their secrets were public, the people were amazed. They were amazed to learn that many U.S. presidents and British prime ministers, German chancellors, the Hollywood elite, the heads of business and academia, Federal Reserve chairmen, were traveling to the Grove each year, and that presidents had been going there since the turn of the last century in 1900. They were shocked by each new revelation of ritualistic depravity. <laughs> One last question. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers and that's the Bohemian Grove. And back in, what was it, 1996 when you joined uh, as a Clinton advisor, they were the Republicans were criticizing you, oh what about Bohemian Grove and then you countered, uh, and then you countered them by saying, hey I don't run around in the woods naked. What did that mean? Here is the before mentioned Washington Times article where he said, I didn't run around naked like they do. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what quote you're referring to. I'm not aware of any quote like that. Uh, listen, uh, I am a, a, a happy member of the Bohemian Grove. I like the, the folks who come there, and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a uh, uh, the group beyond that. Thank you. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's uh, that. Uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't took, we deserve to know? You, you took an, I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? But you we have public officials you, I'm there sorry. You took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there, too, doesn't it? No, they put them yes, up after. Sir. Oh, I'm I sorry. I just walked in. I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what, I what the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? <laughs> Sir, everything uh, you, I, 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 don't, I don't owe you this comment. I know. I appreciate you, 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 you have you. This is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank have you, you ever and goodbye. Been in the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh, that's right. Listen, oh. listen. You go around and and make understandings with people and violate them. You, you ambush people on the streets, and that's an that's inappropriate form of journalism. If you wish to practice that, that's fine, but don't ask others to respect you for it. 
If you want to, you, you can do, you're free American like anything you want. If you want to be uncivil and rude and ungentlemanly, that's up to you. But don't expect the rest well, of us to say, oh, well, you're there, one. Mr. Gergen. I'm sorry, nobody sets policy in there. We try to be gentlemen, and obviously, you don't belong there. Weaving spiders coming out here? <laughs> Look how strangely he behaved when we brought it up. Why is he acting so secretive? And why did he get so angry when he discovered that we'd snuck in? You see, they take it very, very seriously. This is one of the hallmarks of the occult and secret societies. The word occult means secret. Secrecy is part of their religion. They revel in it. And when it's violated, they become extremely angry. Our social lives, going to the football game or the PTA, a little bit different than your average world leader or corporation chief. No, in their spare time, they worship Moloch and do mock human sacrifices. We just need to get used to that and accept them as our leaders. Think about it. If your neighbor was engaging in mock human sacrifices to Moloch, the demon idol that was worshipped all over the Mediterranean and the Middle East, would you let that neighbor walk your dog or house sit or how about babysit your children or be in control of the nuclear launch codes? Well, let me give you a revelation. They are in control of the national deficit, of Congress, of your bank account, of your local police department, and they see you as cattle, as their slaves. Chestnuts roasting. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer.